Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm a big fan of Need for Speed, to those of you guys that didn't know. And Need for Speed 2019, which is basically called Need for Speed The Heat, or that's what we think it's called. Uh, we want this game to be really good, so I'm going to leave my insight of what, um, what I want in this game. And we're going to start off with cars, because cars, I mean like... I mean, it's Need for Speed. You gotta have cars. But, okay, so I'm gonna have Need for Speed Payback in the background. Just because, I don't know, why not? It's the most recent game. And I'm not gonna lie, this game was kind of weak on cars. It, it kind of seemed kind of like the same. Like, you know, there's a bunch of Porsches. They were all the same. Nissans, they were all the same. Hondas, they were all kind of the same. Lamborghinis, they were all kind of the same. So, I don't know, it kind of seemed really boring after a while, like, you know, I, j I own a lot of cars, and I don't really use all of them, which really sucks, because I would really want to, but I don't, so yeah, and the next part we're going to be talking about is the upgrade, like, I guess the customization, so this game is pretty good on customization, I'm not going to lie. But then there's something, and then there's some cards that have like nothing. And uh, one thing that I wish you were able to do is I wish you were able to able to add an intercooler. I don't know what it is, but adding an intercooler to like the front of a car, ooh, just makes it look spicy. I don't know, man. Like I just wish they were able to add that. And another thing is. It's gonna come around to it, but the rims. The rims are really, really like unorganized. Like you have to scroll all the way from the front to all the way to the back. Like you can't, like they don't have like a brand that you can click on and it has those rims and then, or click on a different brand that has those rims. You have to cycle through the whole thing from the front to the back, which just, something I don't like it just takes way too long to find a rim and it's just unorganized in my opinion and yeah and another thing is I wish that Need for Speed made more of their own parts because they could go all wild with it like imagine putting like a side exhaust on an R32 like come on tell me that wouldn't be sick I would love to put a side exhaust <laughs> on an R32 also for the drag cars like for example my drag car is an RX-7 I wish I was able to put a wheelie bar on it it would look so sick or even being able to slap on a parachute that bad boy even if it doesn't even do anything I wish like come on you can't tell me that wouldn't be sick like you can't tell me that you really can't that's one thing that I wish we were able to do in this game just put a wheelie bar on every drag car well, that can do a wheelie and then a parachute that'd be sick okay so now you guys are able to see the paint job slash the vinyl wrap this is something that I do not like in this game even if you just wanted to change the paint you'd have to save changes then you'd have to like completely save it as a new wrap which really sucks in my opinion I wish you could just change the paint without a single problem just like you know choose the paint press X okay your paints on you and I don't want to have to save it because then it'll just take up too much room and I'll end up deleting it later because I don't really need it all right now vanity items I'm, honestly I'm a big fan of vanity items changing the nitrous color tire smoke I have a bunch of tire smoke it's crazy Underglow, even though all of this is super ricey, I'll still do it, bro. I don't care. They got, but they gotta add more stuff. Like, imagine a rainbow tire smoke, and that'd be kind of cool. They have rainbow nitrous. They don't have rainbow underglow, which really sucks. So yeah, we're going on to. I think it's either racing or police next, but we'll find out.
Okay. So we're doing drifting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, drifting was kind of fun in this game. But the only reason it was so fun is because it was so easy. Like, they need to make it harder, in my opinion. Just, like, make it harder to where when you actually get a pretty good slide, it's so satisfying. Because, like, this game, there's no satisfaction. It's way too easy, in my opinion. Like, come on. Like, you press the brake and you start sliding. It's like, come on. So, I'm going to let this play out. Uh, just so you guys can watch me drift. I don't know. I'll meet you guys when it comes to the racing, and then I'll talk about the racing. So yeah. Watch that gun, ladies and damn, my bad. Keep the full back. Damn, I am a legend. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so the racing. It's kind of the same problem that I have with the drifting. Is that it's really easy. Uh, I have it on the hardest difficulty. And I'm just able to... Alright, so this race... I, I, I suck at driving, so... He's, he, he's kind of close. But at one point, he's just completely gone. And because I crashed, he ends up catching up. And that's probably the only reason why they are able to catch up. Like, the racing in this game is too easy. The hardest difficulty, it feels like easy mode. I'm not even going to lie. And if you play on easy mode, then you're literally, you can't lose. <laughs> you actually can't lose. So, I'm, what I'm going to tie in for the racing is for the race, drag, off-road. And off-roading in this game was trash. I mean... I'll give it to Need for Speed. This is their first Need for Speed game that or that like we can go off road. So I'll give it to them for trying. But like the off roading was so bad. You had no grip at all, which really sucked. You like you turned the analog stick slightly to the left or slightly to the right. You start sliding. You end up spitting out. It's like it, it's it's so difficult and it's just it wasn't fun. Every time I had an off-road race, I just didn't want to do it. It's just, it just wasn't, I just wanted to get it over with. Like, it wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it. Like, I literally don't do off-road races anymore ever since I beat the campaign. I either race, drag, or drift. Off-road is nowhere in there. And same with uh, Runner. Runner was really fun. I'm not going to lie. Getting chased by cops, like, because the cops in this game are pretty good. They're just, you only get them by doing the missions or bait crates, which really sucks. I wish the runners had more, had more stuff. Like, I finished it too, like, it was too fast. It was, I don't know. I wish there was more for runner. And, yeah. And just take out off-road. I didn't like off-road. Or, actually, don't take it out in the next Need for Speed Heat game. Please don't take it out. Just make it better, because in this game, it was so bad. It just... I did not like the off-roading. Drag? Drag's fun. I want to talk about drag now. Drag was really fun, in my opinion. The thing that I didn't like is you had to press triangle to shift up, which 
Okay, so triangle is your uh, is the shift up, and then circle is the nitrous. So you can't really nitrous and shift up at the same time, which was kind of annoying. So in Need for Speed the Heat, I want them to make the right analog stick up to up shift and then down to down shift. It just it's more convenient in my opinion. And add more races for drag. Drag was way too short. You had like two story modes for drag and that was it and they had like three races each like I want more story for drag or just more races in general rag was really was really small in my opinion so yeah next is cops yes it is next is cops so as you can see the only way to do the cops are these bait crates you can't drive around, destroy stuff, hit traffic cars to get cops. Or even just drive by a police station. You can't get cops. You have to do these bait crates, which really sucks. And I think Need for Speed, or whoever makes or the dev, the devs, I think they just want to try this out and see what we would think. And <laughs> nobody likes it. We all want free roam cops. That's all we want. Just give us free roam cops. I don't want to have to look for a bait crate to do police chases. But in this new Need for Speed game, I don't think it'll be bait crates, which is really good. We can drive around, find cops, race cops. Well, okay, not race cops, but escape cops, I would say. So, yeah. One thing, well, not one thing, a couple things I want to see in the need for speed heat for uh, cops is I want to be able to be chased by like over a hundred cops because in need for speed carbon if a pursuit was long enough you could get chased by an insane amount of cops like insane amount of cops which was really fun it just gave you that adrenaline and stuff which was really awesome and in this game for the rhinos it tells you it tells you when the rhinos are coming so you kind of no, which really sucks. I want to be able to be snuck up behind by or in front of by uh, by a rhino. That's what rhinos are supposed to do and stuff. Okay, so what you guys see right now is I'm doing the bait crate, and when you get to a certain distance, the police just do not follow you, which really sucks. They just stop following you. So you can see there's only one cop, and look how slow he's going. <laughs> Oh, okay, he stopped now well, because I stopped. But still, like, these cops were a lot harder than Need for Speed 2015, but they were still way too easy. But I hope in Need for Speed the Heat, it just gets way better. Also, I want Destructibles in Need for Speed the Heat. They need to return. Please, please make them return. All right, now... Now on to upgrade system. I hated this upgrade system. It just, you had to get lucky. I really didn't like it. I, I like that they added the ketchup packs because then it just makes your life easier. But at the, at the launch of the game, you had to keep cycling and cycling and cycling and hope that you would get better and better parts, which is something I did not like. Back to 2015, and well, all the other games as well, is that you could, you unlock an upgrade you buy that upgrade and yeah you could just max it out just keep upgrading more and more instead of having to spin and hope for these parts like I have three parts like three perks on some of these parts and then I'm able to get like one one perk which makes which makes no sense it's like if you have one perk you should be able to get two perks and if you have two perks you should be able to get three perks instead of just going down if you have three perks to one perk it's just like this upgrade system was really broken in my opinion I'm sure a lot of people agree with me I hope I hope I'm not the only one that doesn't think that this upgrade system sucked oh boy please fix it honestly I think the I think Need for Speed the Heat will be will have it fixed okay so I did this little clip in there because I like the different dealerships I don't know I don't know why I just I like being able to if I wanted to buy a runner car go to the runner dealership and then go to a race dealership if I want a race car and drag dealership if I want a drag car I like it like that in my opinion 
Okay, so here, here you guys see is the camera. In Need for Speed, the heat, I want the camera to be able to go further. Like, I'm literally, like, I'm not far, which really sucks. Like, I don't know. They need to improve this camera mode. I like the little effects because there are a lot of effects that you can do if you're like a really camera person, which I do play with. As you like, as you guys are gonna see in like a couple seconds, but you like, there's a certain distance that you can go for the drone, which really sucks. And the thing is, it turns really slow, and it moves really slow. Like, I wish you were able to change the sensitivity for this thing. So for Need for Speed: The Heat, please let us be able to change the sensitivity. Because when I turned that drone, it turned way too slow and I, it just got really annoying. And then it just moves too slow. But please don't remove it. Don't remove the drone mode. It's still really fun to take pictures, mess with all the uh, all the effects and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll leave it here. I'll just leave it. You guys can see all the stuff that I do, and I'll come back at the end and mention one small thing that I wish they added back into the game. Okay, so as this video is ending, I forgot to mention this in when I was talking about the upgrade system, is I wish there were engine swaps because my favorite car in this game is probably the S15 and I do not like the SR20 sound. I wished we were able to add a 2J or even an RB26 into that bad boy. But when it comes to like an RX7, I do not want to be able to put a V8. You do, you cannot, like it, it should be illegal. You shouldn't be able to do that. You really shouldn't. So I'm leaving this at the end of the video. I should have talked about